This is the Ryan XV5 Herdafan, a jump jet that never made it over prototypes. The Vertifan was, and is, an experimental VTOL jump jet that proved the success of a ducted lift fan. This plane would have been used by the United States Army in the late 60s or 70s. The aircraft was very versatile. It could be a search and rescue aircraft and even a gunship. The aircraft never did make it out of prototyping. In fact, it had many issues. The Vertifan had poor acceleration, abnormal flight characteristics at low speeds, and the lift fans only provided limited control in a hover. Sadly, on the 27th of April, 1965, the XV-5 suffered a fatal crash, suspected to be caused by the pilot accidentally tripping the transition program, and the aircraft was forced into a dive. The test pilot, Lou Everett, died after ejecting when his seat was not rigged right and he hit the ground. After this, a second prototype was built. It tested search and rescue characteristics, and some said it was superior to a normal helicopter because of the limited air being pushed by the fans, and the air was actually cooler than a normal jump jet. It continued testing till the program was canceled in 1971. The aircraft did did prove that lift fans were a good option. Since the fans did not have hot exhaust, it could winch cargo or people up into the rear cabin, and all the uh, blast wouldn't burn them. It also would mean that no protective mats would be needed to protect the takeoff surface. One surviving prototype can be found at the United States Army Aviation Museum at Fort Rucker. It's the last surviving Verta fan in the world. Even with all these benefits, the program never truly did take off.